the Big 12's in a, in a really interesting and, and, and quite frankly perilous spot right now. Gone from Oklahoma are head coach Lincoln Riley, quarterbacks Caleb Williams and Spencer Rattler, running back Kennedy Brooks, and eight defensive starters. But the Sooners remain the favorites in the Big 12 in year one under Brent Venables. But should OU be favored? Even with all of that talent last year, no team won more games by seven points or fewer than Oklahoma's six. Can the Sooners survive so many close calls again in 2022? Oklahoma comes all the way back for three touchdowns behind to break Texas hearts again. As good as Oklahoma was in close games last year, Texas was equally as bad, as evidenced by the Longhorns blowing a late third quarter 18-point lead to the Sooners, which sent Texas spiraling to a six-game losing streak. No team lost more games when leading at halftime last year than the Longhorns with four. He's going to take it all the way! Tristan Abner, 98 yards for the Baylor touchdown! And no team surprised more than 2021 Big 12 champion Baylor, which finished 12-2, capping it off with a Sugar Bowl win. How did the Bears do it? With a combination of old school defense and new school analytics. Baylor went for it 35 times last year on fourth down, third most in the power of five. And in the rare instance Baylor failed to convert those opportunities, the Bears defense came up big, allowing opponents to score a touchdown on only 17.9% of drives. Well, according to ESPN's FBI, Texas has the best chance to win the Big 12 Conference Championship at 40%, followed by, of course, Oklahoma at 28%. And as you know, both of them have players leading their teams who are top 10 in the Heisman odds as well. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.